So, Ted, you're a big fan of scotch, right? Well, I like scotch tape. <laughs> so, I think we can convert them, don't you? Maybe so. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see. We'll see. Well, Jeff here with A Taste for Whiskey, and today we got a special guest with us. And not only do I have my good friend, Chef Jason, here, but I also got my good friend, Ted. Ted Ward. It's great to be here. Thanks for the invite. I'm well, excited. I tell you, Ted, we, you know, you look like somebody we all know. You get, you get, uh huh. See, so everybody knows. <laughs> it, 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 it happens. Probably and you somebody, wear your glasses. somebody from uh, Jason's world. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I've, I've taken a few fan photos over the years. Uh, been asked for some autographs from time to time, and um, you know, I just roll with it. Well, we we figured somebody will see this on the video and be like, "What? He's doing bourbon now?" <laughs> <laughs> well, Ted, thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for being a part of our perfect pair. What we're going to do today is something that, Jason, I can't believe we haven't done for a while. I can't believe I we've not done this at all. I know. I, I, mean, I can't either. We got a request from Brandon Cutler, who actually reached out to me and said, Hey, what, what's a perfect pair for steak? Uh... We haven't done this yet. No. We've <laughs> talked about it. We've talked about it in the summer doing grilling or barbecue. Yeah. But we haven't done this yet. So we had to jump on the research very quick to, to offer some, some, some suggestions. And I think we came up with some really killer, we did. killer bottles. We did. <laughs> so we're going to give you three options today because, you know, some of you, there's one that in the bourbon world that, that you know, we're going to have to sway you a little bit, which I think we're going to make a winner uh, out of Ted here once once we get him to it. But we're going to talk about some different things. But first and foremost, we have another live studio audience with us again, which I love. See? It All just right. makes it way more fun. It does. And, uh, of course, they're going to get a chance to try uh, as well and kind of uh, take this ride with us to see what your thoughts are. So we'll be interested to see which one you like better. I know where Bob's going to be, but I think some of you we will see where the rest of you go. So without further ado, Jason, let's get started, man. Let's do so it. first of all, we want to talk about um, the, what we're trying to attempt here. And you mm -hmm. got some information about Peggy No Stevens and her book. Yeah, the uh, the book that, you know, which fork do you use with my bourbon? Yeah. Uh, you know, we when we first started doing these videos, we uh, we wanted to talk about the flavor trio that she, she talks about in her book, uh, which is balance, counterbalance, and flavor explosion. And, you know, we, we, we actually hit all three on the, in this dish here today. And so uh, basic flavor profiles of the steak, it's a strip steak, um, comes off the, the short loin of the beef, uh, which is a tender part of the beef. And, uh, you know, a uh, little bit of fat in there, marbling. Uh, we put some nice uh, Himalayan pink salt um, and some black pepper and a little bit of granulated garlic and just seared it in a cast iron skillet. You know, you can do that or you can put it on a grill, however oh, you want to do it. You know, and then um, the, the mashed potatoes is yellow potato, creamy with some horseradish. Give that little peppery bite and sweetness. And then just some sautéed whole green beans. You you had me at horseradish. <laughs> I, I was going to sure. say, Ted, is this your jam? <laughs> it absolutely Cause, is. Because I feel like this is my jam right now. Sure. I mean, this is this is fantastic. So um, so let's, let's go ahead and get right into it because I know folks are wondering what pairs nicely with yep. this. So the first one we're going to go with, we actually have three options. So, so stick with us because I think we got the banger at the end. But Maybe. we picked three really good options. And the first one, Ted, we chose the, the new riff. And, um, and I think even, Ted, you feel like this is kind of a balance. We're going to call this more of a balance of, the, of the, uh, the flavor trio. And even, Ted, when you tried this originally, it's the pepper on this. Oh, yes. You know, it, it, it it's, you. it's the pep. The, so this is a single barrel pick that was done by Indiana Liquor Group. So, again, not everybody's going to be able to get this. But what we found interesting about this, Chef, is really just that it's got an interesting pepper note. And if you know anything about New Riff... They're a four-year, and every single barrel is completely different. And you're right, you know. And you do when you go on to do research, wherever you do your research, um, and with with beef and steak, a lot of it went to rye. Well, you know, rye has that peppery note. Well, this this new riff single barrel has that peppery note in it, and you know, uh, being that bourbon, and then on the back end has that sweetness. Horseradish has that peppery note, um, sweetness as well. And and this this steak and this whole dish. And the new riff goes really well with this. And it's just so dominating, isn't it? It, it? it really is, but but in a very pleasant way. Yes. Yeah. So I'm always a little bit afraid of the of the pepper uh, yes. just staying with me too long. Uh, but it, it really is a pleasant uh, taste. 
Well, let's, you know what, guys? Let's, I think you got, oh, I, I you mean, know you know, what? Ted, we we're hungry. We have our sample right definitely. here. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that I find really cool about this is going with the different flavor profiles, and, and we're passing the bottle around because we want everybody here to, to kind of enjoy this experience <clears throat> and really get their feedback. But again, the, we talk about how we do this. We like to, you want to try to get a little bit of everything on, uh, you know, in that first bite. Yeah, when, when I create these dishes, and, and even in the restaurant business, restaurant world, where you know you create the we dishes, you want to eat everything together. The beans, the potato, and the meat together um, to get that flavor uh, with the bourbon. Um, I, had, I had to break my green beans apart. Yeah, that's it's, okay. It's a little big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So what, what we like to do is go ahead and wet the, wet the whistle, if mm -hmm. you will. And, we're gonna, and what we're going to do is this, the whole purpose of this is to kind of experience what you're going to get what you're going you experience what you're going to experience <laughs> does that make sense ted mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely it does <laughs> uh, I, I i was busy nosing the the bourbon yeah. it's it, it's it's i almost get some fruit and you said caramel which i like that and then it's that ex flavor explo it's mm -hmm. that explosion of pepper on the, the pepper on the, on the back mm -hmm. end yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. All right, so let's let's dive in because we got three, two more to try, and uh, so we'll take a bite and then we're going to take a sip or yes. or a gulp, however That's you want right. to do it. If you can get if you can get it on your fork, man, this is so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Wow, this is Ted. This is better than the first time we tried it. I don't know if it's because yeah. we've tried a few. Oh yeah. But man, balance, balance. Yeah. But that pepper note it feeds so nicely into that steak. You guys getting that pepper? Pepper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pepper. And there's a little bit of fruit. Yeah. But it's really tamed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's uh. Yeah. Nothing dominates. Uh. You know. It just it it fits very well together. It just creates a nice balance, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Sure does. D and this time, to me, it actually brought more of the beef flavor out. It did. To this. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I found very interesting. Mm -hmm. And it's a, you know, we're talking a four-year bourbon right out of uh, right out of uh, Cincinnati. You know, just fantastic. But we know that this is not going to be, everybody's going to find this. So you definitely want to look, if you want to create this, you want something with a really nice mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. Uh, pepper finish. Mm -hmm. yep. But we're going to go with the next, which I think is even a little bit better and, and even a more of a counterbalance, right, Chef? And this is something mm -hmm. that you're all going to be able to find, and that is the rare breed. This is a blend of 6, 8, and 12 year, and uh, so we don't really have an age statement, but rare breed is always... I have to make sure I can start with a clean glass, but rare breed is always a great... You know, wild, we call it the wild turkey funk, you know? And so there's some leather notes, but, but you know, Derek couldn't join us today, but we talked about this, and one of the things Derek said is, you know, something with some oak and some leather notes is going to make a really nice, uh, kind of a, a, a nice tasting that's going to, a pairing that's going to yeah. go well with this. Well, with the, the bitiness of the pepper and on, your, on the steak and the bitiness of the horseradish, the horseradish has the sweetness. This rare breed here has has the sweetness to it, and it doesn't have the higher peppery content that we've tasted in the root new riff. So when that's you, right. You, so the 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 opposites of the bourbon and the steak in the dish are going to come in and balance yeah. each other out. Yeah, we really. I mean, counterbalance at its best is what mm -hmm. I think I got yeah. originally. It's that sweet note. Mm -hmm. So let's let's dive right in. Yep. Mm. It tastes good. It tastes good breed. without even. I love me <laughs> some rare breed. It's very good. Yeah, that is. Uh, All right, now smooth. for this fantastic steak. <laughs> oh, this. Mm. I gotta tell you. Um, so I think we're just moving up. Mm -hmm. I think the counterbalance, mm -hmm. it's that sweetness that goes so nicely with the steak. Mm -hmm. So, so Brandon, I appreciate you bringing this to my attention, and I wish I would have told you about this because I think this is even a better pairing, mm -hmm. is, is this <clears throat> wild turkey rare breed. It is, and, it, and as soon as you put both in your mouth, 
it mellows everything out oh. and just gives you a nice mouth feel. Oh, it really does. And what do you guys think? I mean, the 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 the, the sweetness and the counterbalance is it's just it, it's mm -hmm. up a notch, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it really it, does. It enhances the flavors of the of the food. I I really um, I taste the horseradish for sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it sweetens it up. It does. Um, yeah. Which in that would you have ever thought that, Ted? Not not at all. It's just fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But here's here here's what what Chef and I we like to do. We like to save the best for last. <laughs> and really, the whole idea is to offer you guys some options because steak, you know, just like a good steak, you can change it with seasoning, with spices, and as Chef was saying, just salt and pepper. Yeah. You know, really because we really want the bourbon to kind of do the work. And I really feel like we found this next one is going to be Flavor Explosion, yeah. which is one of our favorites. Mm -hmm. And it and this is this here, Ted, is where I think we're gonna we're gonna change you. We're gonna okay. change you. You're gonna be a different man after this. And that is now this is a little bit harder to find, but we're gonna go with a flavor explosion. And this is the Lagavulin Offerman edition. It's aged eleven years, and this is heavy or the charred oak cask. So this is going to be a heavy char, right, Bill? The heavy char. And the thing that we love about this is it's aged in ex-bourbon and ex-wine. Red wine. Red wine. So there's this sweet note, but you also get that true, that true Lagavulin profile. You know that. Yeah, Lagavulin. You're not going to poke me. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the thing that I love about this is it's it's heavy char. So now you get which you, you automatically think steak, chef. You do, you know, and with, with scotches, we all think of the heavy char, the peaty, and you, if you look in the glass, it's even lighter in color, it's not as dark, um, and it's light, you know. Yeah, this is. And, and you get the smell of the, the scotch. The, the um, scotch, yeah. but there's that peaty note, right? But I, we, I, I'm a little timid. We don't call it peaty. We call it. I like to say it's peat. But as as Bob and I talk about this, when you watch our uh, videos on on the regions, mm -hmm. is Lagavulin has more of a smokiness, okay. whereas Ardbeg has more of a peat, more oh. of a kind of a you know sea. You know, as Derek describes, you're standing on a ship as a Viking and you're getting sprayed with with sea salt. <laughs> Okay. See, we got you, Derek. <laughs> with your orange glasses with, with, on. With with your orange glasses on. Okay. Um, so so Ted, this is it. This is this is flavor explosion. You, you've never steered me wrong before, so I'm in. Cheers. 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 Mmm. I love it. I love it. <laughs> but but it's about to get crazy when we when we go in with the the, the taters. And the uh, the steak, it's a little bit of Indiana accent. That's the Hoosier way of yeah, saying that's it. That's right. Even to prepping the palate and then going in mm. is fantastic. Here we go. Cheers, guys. Cheers again. Mm. Wow. Oh, Guys, wow. Brandon, I think this wow. was your winner. Mm -hmm. I hope you I hope you went this route as we talked about back and forth. This is amazing. Oh. And, I mean, and I didn't bump the camera. That was the flavor explosion. <laughs> wow. I, I, I talk about an enhancement. Uh, I mean, it it turned that steak into butter. This yes. absolute yes. Right, right. butter. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Well, it just enhances and just to get that flavor. It's mm -hmm. the horseradish, the butter, the just everything in your mouth, and, and that that smokiness tones down, and then just kind of just mm -hmm. it makes everything just explode in your I, mouth. Uh, chef, I mean, listen. I, every time we do this, I just don't know where it's going to go, yeah. and every time we're done with this, I'm just so excited. I think Ted saw the excitement oh. on this, mm -hmm. and I know we're a little bit over uh, the time we wanted, but you, you can't rush this. Right. This is this is like a fine wine, or a fine scotch, as we like to say, <laughs> and so just to recap, we're going to go balance. We're going to go counterbalance with the with the rare breed, which I think all of these are great. But for me personally, I think the winner in this perfect pair, the perfect pair winner, is going to have to be the Lagavulin Offerman Edition, aged eleven years. I, I'm I'm converted. Uh, there's there's nothing that I object to uh, about that pairing. For this sure. is Bob. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. 
So one. I gotta hear it from the audience, so everybody knows where are we going. What what's everybody's favorite? Is it the the uh, the rare breed new riff or the Lagavulin? Lagavulin. See, it's 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 unanimous. <laughs> It is just fantastic. <laughs> Folks, I hope you enjoyed this. you got to try it. If you haven't ran out and grabbed this bottle, you need to go now. You need to go quick. And if you can't find this bottle, you're not you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna lose with the rare breed. And sadly, this is a single barrel. But but we really just wanted to uh, we want to thank Indiana Liquor Group for allowing us to try this. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, this is the winner. It well, is. Well, and also even if you go out to a restaurant and you have a steak and you can find any of these on the shelf. There you're gonna, you go. There, it's going to be great. It's mm -hmm. going to be great. Yeah. Ted, thank you so much for oh. joining us. I hope you had a good thank, time. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Love it. Thank you. And uh, until next time, folks, cheers. 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 cheers.